Hey everybody, Jack Loves Painting here with a new tutorial, and today we're going to be doing some purple demon skin. I've got this really cool mini from Scale 75 here, a little bit of a pre shade just so you can see the details, but we're going to be building up our colors through the pigment vibrancy of these purples and flesh tones. I'm going to start off with some royal purple from Vallejo Game, and just totally 100% base coat the fleshy areas on this uh, space monster guy. Picked this guy up at Adepticon, he just screamed at me because he's such a cool, fun model. Gonna have a, a cool time painting this dude. So we're just gonna base that in and move on to our next colors. After that, we're gonna pull out some Pro Acryl Purple. It's kind of a mid-tone to lighter purple. And we're gonna go with a high angle and start spraying this guy with the airbrush making sure to be conservative on the trigger, making sure to show that dark royal purple in the deepest recesses of his big slabs of muscle and fat. So that way we're gonna be building up our contrast with a very dark color up to a very bright color instead of using the black primer as our shadows. After that, I'm pulling out some magenta from Pro Acryl. This is a nice purpley pink color, very light, we're going to go over those highest detail areas of the muscles one more time just to brighten that highlight up a little bit. After that, I'm going to pull out some tan flesh from Pro Acryl and mix that into our magenta we already have in the airbrush, creating this really pink mixture. And this is going to be the start of our kind of purpley flesh tone that we're going to work into this demon skin so that it looks more realistic as a flesh tone rather than cartoony. I want a little bit of that kind of humanoid flesh tone in this purple skin. That way it makes it a little bit more unsettling, almost like some demon body horror kind of stuff. And we're just gonna focus on the biggest slabs of muscle and fat and start picking those out with the airbrush. I've got my air turned down quite a bit, so it's nice and soft and I can get really close to the model. So just be careful with this step and work on the detail highlights of those biggest detail areas. And again, I'm going to take that mix that we already made, kind of dump it out and have some dregs of it in the airbrush. And then I'm going to mix in more tan flesh and a couple of drops of this ivory. And that's going to take that flesh tone and make it even brighter, even more pale. And again, we're going to come in with the airbrush and very carefully pick out the details on those areas that we've already sprayed our flesh tone just to brighten up that flesh tone as a highlight that's really gonna pop those slabs of muscle out. And then that's gonna create a gradient that shows a dark purple to our pale flesh, creating this really nice kind of creepy demon skin look for this dude. I didn't slow down this area of the video just so you could see how long it takes. It doesn't take very long at all, but I wanted you to see all of the patience in doing this step because it's very important don't try to rush this just dial in your aim be very gentle and conservative with pulling back the trigger so that you're only letting out a tiny amount of paint and just focus those really small spot highlight areas on the details of the model and that's what it pretty much comes out to uh, we still got to do a wash and detail highlights on this guy which we'll be doing in subsequent videos but I wanted to show you the base steps of how to airbrush this really cool flesh tone. And it works on a ton of different models, but I'm calling it demon purple skin just because this guy is kind of a cool fat purple demon. <laughs> All right, I'll catch you next time.